It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, seventh period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us. So everybody was getting antsy in their seats. I could tell we didn't have a test that day, like a lot of my friends and their other teachers. So our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on sparkle.com. He was a very laid back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sparkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered the question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers that this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and usher us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes, and then the usual buzzing that came from the panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have had the power cut. We all looked at each other, realizing that this must be serious. Later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic-sounding man started banging on the lockers and screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment that I started to fear for my life, my teacher shushing us all as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our classroom door, and that's when one of the crying girls screamed, No! The banging on the door only grew worse, and the man started screaming, Open up! Two of the girls in the class were crying out loud now, it felt like an eternity that the man was pounding at the door, but eventually he finally continued down the hallways, screaming like a mentally insane person until we could not hear him anymore. I'd say 10 minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the dean came back on the loudspeaker, explaining the situation, which was surprising for him too. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was all before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching, but to keep all the doors locked and to not let any of the students leave for any reason. The most disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back of the school. And, according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time the police officers could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. My entire class, as far as I know to this day, has no idea if this man has ever been found but I like to think that right now he's been given the proper help that he needs. Friends, that's all for today. Tell us what you thought about the whole story and leave a like if you enjoyed it.